Today, I will be showing you how to fix missing frames when using the keyframe stretcher node. Let's describe the problem. Here, I have a lower thirds with a simple intro and outro animation. If I shorten this clip, you will notice that the intro animation still works, but the outro animation is where we start to get the missing frames, right? And that is not what we want. So let's get into it. Here in Fusion, my composition is 120 frames the intro is 15 frames and the outro is also 15 frames. I'm going to add the keyframe stretcher node so that I can increase or decrease the duration of the composition without it affecting the animation. Here, I'm going to set the keyframe stretch start at frame 60 and the end at frame 103, which is all the frames in between my animation. Now, let's go back to the timeline and see how this is working. Let's say I want to increase the duration of the clip, right? You can see that the outro animation is working as expected, but what happens if I shorten the clip? Now we're starting to see the missing frames. So what happened? Let's go back into Fusion and resolve this. Now, you may be thinking that there's something wrong with the keyframe stretcher node and how it is working. Fortunately, that's not the case. Um, it has nothing to do with the keyframe stretcher. The problem comes from any node in your composition that has a global in and out. The global in and out specifies where this node will appear within the composition. The most common ones are going to be your media, text, background, and any render nodes you may have. When you shorten the clip, the global in and out also gets shortened. The issue is that the animation occurs in the frames after this duration. So the quick fix is to set the number to something absurd, like a thousand. Now, make sure you do this for every node that has the global in and out. After doing this, let's check back on the animation. Now you can see that it's working as expected. And if we go back to the timeline, you can see we'll be able to stretch and shrink our clip without any missing frames. I hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.